All right. Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, it's been a while, but I'm back. So the fuselage, we're going to call that pretty much done. I mean, I got to put the fittings on it and everything else, but um, there's been some changes in my life and I, my wife and kids and I moved. My garage is tiny. So I have the fuselage in the shed and um, I'm just going to kind of let that sit for a little bit. And we're going to work on the tail feathers next. It's a small part. Uh, they're manageable. Easy to do in a small space. Um, so kind of, you know, you could do wings, spars, whatever. But this is a cool place to pick up. So I'm going to do this. So what, what I'm showing here is just kind of how I decided to approach this. You know, we have these these plans here. Um, they give you all the numbers. And I am, I am, I'm one of those people that I'm visual, you know. I need to see kind of what I'm doing and scale up a little bit. So what I did was, and I'm going to do this for every single part in the tail, is I took my kitchen table and uh, I took some painter's tape. Okay. We got a tape measure, marker from the kids that I stole, and uh, a bowl here that's going to represent that five inch radius. It's like five and a half. It's close. Close enough. So what I decided to do was lay out just this part. And like I say, I want to get an overall view of this. You know, what, what am I up against? Um, very visual. So this, this is pretty cool. I laid it out in tape, okay? And all I did was transfer here to here. And I wasn't real technical with it. That's not the point of this. I just need to be able to look at this and say, okay, I'm going to build a table probably that's just going to handle this. These um, six parts, right? Uh, elevator, stabilizer, fin, rudder, okay? And I laid this out. And what this is gonna allow me to do is get the length of the pieces that I need to be able to order from Aircraft Spruce. Um, shipping is a concern. We don't wanna go any longer than we have to. So by laying this out in tape, it allows me to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna take a rough measurement of 60 inches through here. I'm gonna add this in, add this in. I can take a two footer here and I wanna stay eight feet or below. Um, that's your best shot at getting cheap shipping. So, you know, all these pieces I'm ordering, you know, how, how can I bundle this together and optimize my shipping costs? Cause you know, the whole idea behind Illegal Eagle is to do it affordably. Um, so th this is that part. Um, and you can see here, I drew in an angle. Again, it shows seven degrees on the plan. Just ignore the seven degrees. You're gonna make a straight line at 23. You're gonna kick it in at two inches. Find your point. This piece then comes off that point. You can you can see the radius here of the bowl. Okay. And I just kind of drew it in there. It doesn't have to be exact. If, if your fin is out to here, it's no big deal. If it's in here a little bit, it's no big deal. It'd be different if it's on a pits. We have to be a little more accurate. That's what makes an airplane like this a blast, is you can just sort of kind of do it, you know? Um, and you can see I laid out the pipe sizes. I put question marks here saying, you know, 36, probably get a four footer. It's two bucks a foot, get, just get an extra foot, you know, and, and, and maximize all these parts. And so that's the next step. I'm gonna get a material list. Um, and you can see there's gussets that go in here if you look at the plans, right? There's some hinges. I'm probably going to do something a little different. Um, and maybe I won't, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something different there. Um, but that, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up against. So I'm going to do this to all six tail surfaces, and then I'm going to place an order. And once I get all my material in, I'm going to lay out a section on a table in my garage and uh, start to build these. I'll probably order a little extra tubing. I want to do a bend test. Uh, what I mean by that is you know how well does five eighths bend right we know that in the rudder what is it? i think that's three eighths you know that's going to bend super easy um looks like we have some half inch here so i'm just gonna do a little bend test kind of play around a little bit get comfortable maybe make a tooling for bending i don't know maybe i'll just drill a hole in the two by four and bend it and stuff it in I, i'm not sure that's the whole idea is you're not sure so you just got to play around and you know, the most important thing is totally enjoy the process. I love stages like this. I am totally happy without even building a part. Something like this is just a blast. I mean, I have a flying surface laid out in tape on my kitchen table. 
you just can't beat that kind of fun, you know. So um, we're not going to stress over the little details, you know. We got to see what what that old codger did for us. You know, he gave us some numbers here. He gave us something to go off of. It looks like the other, it's pretty well done. I mean, you can look at these numbers and they all make sense. Um, you know, our hinge locations, we want to be careful with that. There's reasons why they're spaced apart. We want to kind of pay attention to that stuff. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to prepare myself, get ready, make an order, and uh, have fun.